Yeah. Yeah. Cause girls is players too. Miami Heat. Yeah. Yeah. Up 3 1 on the New York Knicks. Too. Dude, close out went. Dude, tomorrow is going to be amazing. Close out Wednesday. Think about this. Two eight seeds in South Florida can get out of the second round to the conference. with one loss between them. And the conference finals. Dude, this is amazing. Amazing. What a performance yesterday. The only the only person that's peacocking, I bet you're on ESPN, mm-hmm. Big Perk. Because uh, you know he loved him some Lakers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they won last, shout out to Lonnie Walker, by the way. Yesterday. Right, he's a Miami guy, right? Yeah. 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 They, don't, they, they, they won't bring that up, though. Bubble teams, huh? They won't bring that up. Yeah, bubble frauds. Bubble frauds, you know? Dude. What are we talking about here? What are Can we... I just tell you, watching part of that Lakers game, Golden State looks like high school players next to all them giants. They're big. They are massive. They're 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 a big team. They're up uh, three one. That was the late game last night. Uh, the Heat last night taking care of New York. Jimmy buckets. I mean, that guy just does it all, man. I think the thing that I just marvel. You know what he does? You know the thing like he does what need to be done, which is what you need your leader to do. It might not be scoring. It might not be. You know, this, but it could be rebound. It could be defense. It could be, hold on, let me shut this dude down yeah. before he gets going. And everybody has one of those guys. You think you have one of those guys, right? Vlad, you think you have one of those guys until moments like yesterday. And you realize. I got that guy, but I ain't got it like that. There's stars and there's superstars. Right. Jimmy's a superstar. Jimmy's a superstar. Right. He's a superstar. Right. He's a superstar. Right. He's a superstar right. And he's a and his, his competitive level in the playoffs is insane. Shout out to Bam. Amazing game. Yeah. Amazing game. The stars came out to play, but your role players. The role players Bruce, have won this series. Caleb Martin. The the role Kyle the role Lowry. players have like their dominance. Over New York's bench is much greater. Oh, it's been great. Then the then, non-Jimmy minutes, how if, how productive they've the been. The non-Jimmy minutes, they increase the lead. They and increase I, the lead. And you want to know who you get you give that credit to? Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. My guy. <sighs> oh my god. Low dog. Dude. That's that, my see, dude right there. That's why we can't take your what, what do you first, mean? your first I always wanted them. No. That's why we can't take what happened Wait, at the beginning of the show. I always wanted that. Dude. I always respected his game. Dude. Always respected his game, dude. dude. He's been a menace. Tibbs doesn't even know what to do. He's dude. bewildered. He's like, blah, 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 Kyle Lowry. Tobin, that's why I love you, Tobin. What's your, what do you mean? your first segment on fire? Yeah. Just killing the media. Come, and right. Right? They right? come back. Like, it's my guy, like, Kyle Lowry. And then second segment, back to waffling. Back to the waffle. What am I waffling about? You come didn't what I mean, Kyle if, Lowry if waffles, all of a sudden just, is your low dog. Only, dude. only if you're saying waffling, like waffles are delicious, and so is Kyle Lowry's game. Like, you know, that's I mean, that's waffling. So but this this guy is <laughs> I was so I was so scared. <laughs> I I tell you what though, J Big, uh, that I, I, I he had a look to him yesterday, you know, because Kyle Lowry's the first one to warm up, right? And I'm boots on the ground. And Kyle Lowry gets out there, just see, he had a look about him last night. Just a little twinkle in his eye. You just see, low dog was ready to cause uh, Dude, cause some havoc. I'm telling you. How can you ruin, right? You ruined that beautiful start to the show mm-hmm. where you let it all out. Yeah. Wait, you get wait, it out, wait, and then we get back. The second segment. What do you mean? I'm not flip-flopping. You're flip-flopping. Why? Because first, you didn't want him to go off the way he did in the first segment. No. Then you said, I'm, how are you no, going to take you seriously? No. He likes, no, 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 no. What I said was, how do you follow up what you did the first segment and then come back the second segment and kind of... No, here's the thing. Leroy would like He me. took a lap. Here's the, here's the thing. He took a lap. He Leroy... <laughs> he really did. I saw him take a lap. Leroy and I are a lot like a... We're a radio married oh, couple, you know? And it's kind of like if Big Spoon were to hold Leroy back from saying anything about customer service, you know not to do that. He has to say what he has to say. And so Leroy knows I have to say what I have to say, even though for the better of my health, it's probably better that I don't care what ESPN says, but I do. I can't help it. I have rabbit ears. I like to hate listen. I like to listen to stuff that makes me mad. That's what I like. I like to listen to the dum dums. This might be the greatest defensive stop ever. Hmm. When they when they took an uh and uh what's his name ended up on uh Steph. You know, Kevin Love might have something to say about that. Yeah, that's oh, true. 
Kevin Love in the uh, in the closeout game that the, when he locked up Steph and the uh, the winning seventy three. Everybody was shook by that. Oh yeah, but he a, AD is seven foot. That's another one of my guys. and stayed Kevin right Love. in front of him. Lead us, Kevin. <laughs> you see, you see. Take us Dude, there. Hey, lead us. Ne- look, he he my wa- two vets. He, he waffles between love, love. That's my two vets right and, there. And, <laughs> I'm setting you up, totally. And he's basically love, called love. he's basically called Kyle Lowry Astron Reserve. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I do remember that. <laughs> it's like we got our reserve squad. I got to say, you know who has to feel good though yesterday? Jimmy Butler. Because I was thinking back to this. You know, Jimmy Butler, you think back to the beginning of February, right? All mm-hmm. the trade rumors are swirling. And, you know, he's asking about like, it. And he goes, he ain't, he ain't going, going nowhere. nowhere. And he just like, he, yeah. and he walks off and he walks off the, uh, with the, the podium, smirk. With, with the, the smirk. smirk. And so last night, he's asked about Kyle Lowry. Can you bring him up, uh, Jay Fig, on his guy, Low Dog? The world knows by now that uh, I love that dude to death, but he's just a, he's a winner. Um, he, he, he fits everything that we're about here. He's so unselfish. And, you know, whatever you ask him to do, whether it's start or come off the bench, is going to be really, really effective because he's a champion and he's done it before and he knows what it takes to win. So um, we want him to keep being that, keep smiling and, and helping us win. And Tim says, like, hey, and keep complaining. And t- <laughs> hey, look, who's worse? Hmm? Kyle Lowry during the game mm-hmm. or you after the game? Because hmm. because I got to tell you, Kyle Lowry looks like he wears on some people. He's a negotiator. <laughs> he's I always think, doing the hand I gestures. Think going, I think he's going to Josh Hart after he goes, that's how it's done. It's cool. He goes, you think you hey, can finagle the refs, Josh Hart? Watch this. I, I would say this, and, and this is. This is what I see. I think the Heat have a, have been in tough situations before, and they never waver. They never get upset. No, they he, just fight through it. And your boys, they, soon as the soon as they're up against it, everybody starts panicking. And except for Brunson, one team's been to Eastern Conference Finals in the playoffs the last three years. And the other team has it. That's plain and simple. You've outplayed us. The uh, you, you thirsty? I got some something new. I got a I got a new, new flavor here. It's called uh, New York Knicks fans tears. You want to hear from Richie? Oh, hey Richie. Hey, good morning, Jay Fig. Good morning, Leroy. Good Tell morning. Marco and his beautiful wife that I said, uh, you know, congratulations on the baby. Now, Tobin, let me get to you. First of all. <laughs> The first segment, you sound like a crybaby, bro. Like, like, bro, you just won. You're up 3-1, and yeah. you're crying about recognition. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. You're crying about recognition? Well, the Knicks fans recognize you, recognize that you guys me? out Why don't you stuff? recognize me, Wait Richie? Wait a minute. Wait, can I finish? Uh, I'll, you, guys gotta, you guys got a game without Jimmy Butler. Like, I'll, I'll, I mean, like, you know, uh, tread well, lightly on how many things you got to say. You know where I'm going with go this, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm giving you recognition. You guys out-hustled us. You outplayed us. You out-rebounded us. Guys. I ain't eagle. Last night was giving you recognition. Oh, Nobody's not saying you guys ain't good, but guess what? Mm. There was some questionable calls, and every game there's questionable. Hold on, and every game there's questionable calls. So I'm not gonna blame it on that. Oh, you guys Why bring it up? up? Yeah, well, you mentioned it. Okay, I mean, but here's what I'm gonna throw at you. Crying now, Richie. Don't think it's over, you clown. It's over, dude. It's not over, over dude. It's hey, over. Hey, Richie, hey, Richie, 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 Richie. Wait Richie. a minute. Legitimate Wait question. Minute. Legitimate question. I will let you finish your point. But how do you feel as a fan when your so-called star Julius Randle, or your two, whatever you say, he's openly admitting after the game they want it more. So how do you have that confidence when he's actively, he looks defeated? If he says that, then show us. Show the Knicks fans. He's not showing us. He's running his mouth. First of all, Randle, he thinks he's a point guard now. He forgot how to get in the lane and dunk on people and do layups instead of shooting threes. All I'm saying is we need to get our shit together and Tim Ooh, needs to get it. Dump that, Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, you want to tell, let me say something. That felt good. Hey, but but think about this. <laughs> think about this. I got that you shirt. can't complain about a guy complaining about recognition. Mm-hmm. Say you giving him his recognition. Then complain about the refs. Hey, can I ask you something? Do I keep it too loose here? Like, what's up with our callers cursing so you know, much lately? It's. I was just it's thinking that it's been like three or four times. I don't know in what's the up with that. Week. They get fired. Well, here, first of all, it's 
And people don't realize this. When you get heated, mm -hmm. you ain't thinking like that. You ain't thinking about I'm on because he Richie was building. Mm -hmm. Richie was built. So you knew so it like I only had to it, say the words Julius Randall. <laughs> Oh, I okay, okay. So I answered a phone call prior, and Richie and I talked. So we got our Nick fandom out, right? So right. I just, you know, calmed him down. You know, you thought he calmed it down. Told, you right. No, no. Told me does it to you. And I gave him like you know, because I you, you got to support. We got to still have faith. Like you know, we're gonna turn three one to four Admirable three. For you. Right. So he was like, "Yeah, Vlad, cool." Then you somehow, you somehow, yeah, dude. How you think I feel? Turned him. How you think turned I feel? Him into, and he got so <sighs> angry. How you think I feel? The only thing uh, Richie ain't got to deal with is that smirk hey. after he gets you. Oh, yeah. You, you saw it, too. I see the Heat fans starting to call, and you guys want to call and talk about last night's game. 305-567-0560. Start your calls with a Leroy. 305-567-0560. Uh, what? That's our that's our battle that's cry. Exactly take it as a take it, it as a badge yes. of honor. This is what we do. This is what we do. This is what this we, is do. What we do, J Fig. Tell Mike Greenberg to go to hell. I thought I thought I had one person. <laughs> like, like I'm gonna have to find I'm a new gonna, spirit. I'm tell you something, you right? Remember, I'm the one that's always in the middle. I no, no. Yeah. Ever since that lemonade Celsius, yep. she's been riding she's with Tobin, up. bro. Yep. Yeah. Let bad? me tell you, and let me tell you something right now, dude. I'm going to I'm going to yell at Golen during the break for that Mike Greenberg. He discovered him. I'm mad at him. Uh, but I promise people we get to their calls, so let's do that. Slap Daddy, what's going on, man? How you guys doing? Great morning today with that heat fever. <laughs> <gasps> Woo! I just heard Richie, so it's been a while. So, Richie, my man, I was out there. I was out there Saturday night with a sign that says, Richie, where are you, buddy? And I didn't see you, man. So I'm just going to tell you, have a good vacation waiting on them bills to play and complain about more weather problems. It's unbelievable. You know what I mean? More weather. I, I was annoyed by that. I was annoyed when that was made a thing and they were complaining. Like, the bills hadn't smoked the Dolphins like nine straight years in a row, at, no matter where the time was. And then last year, the Dolphins finally get them and they give the son the credit. It was, it was, it's something. Hello, Lou. Hello. Hey, Lou. What's going on, buddy? Leo. <laughs> hey, man. I'm I'm tired of ESPN, man. Like they never give us any respect. Never. Now they blaming on the weather. Unreal. How is it on the weather if if it's inside inside <laughs> of the arena? Make Fair question. Sense. Fair question. Zero sense. Like, no uh, sense. The Dolphins. The Dolphins. I get it because it's outside. Fine. Whatever. They can have that. We still beating them, but it don't matter. But the weather's like inside. I'm telling you right now, if we make it to the finals and we beat LeBron, they're going to blame it on his age. Watch. Of course. Of course. <laughs> just, he's at the, are, at the end of his run. At the end of his run, just doesn't have who it. Who cares? I, I Get do. the win. I mean, obviously, people care. If you win a championship, do you care what anybody has to say about it? Um, I do. I Why? Do. Because it bothers me. It bothers me. Does anybody like being called paper champ? Expecting. You know? You still champ. Mm. Whatever name you want to put in front of it, they got to finish it with champ. It, 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 listen, it bothered, it bothered Apollo Creed to the point where he had to rematch Rocky Balboa. And what happened? Lost. You know? Okay. Xavier, what's point going on? Four times. Why? Got a point <laughs> why does all your life... Why does, fine, baby. <laughs> Woo! why does all of his left life lessons... Send it around a Rocky movie Why or a that? Rocky quote. Can I ask you a question? What? Can we meet up to go top hat shopping tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to dress like on Thursday, though, because one's a gentleman's sweep and one's going to be a sweep sweep. You know, close out Wednesday is going to be one for the ages. Half and half. Maybe a half and half, JF. Will you wear a top hat? Okay. <laughs> I have to look for one. But yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> uh, Ricardo, what's going on, man? Going good, Tobin. Leroy. Hey, what? Hey. You know what we say? Look, we I got gooseies on top of gooseies. On top of gooseies? Sprinkled a whole bunch of gooseies. Wow. And Goosey. Man, like I, like I told you guys uh, a week ago or so, there's, there's some warriors. And they're going to fight every single day, every single game. To the last man, to the last minute, to the last second. 
and we we see it against against the Knicks every night. So, you know, it's it starts with the other guys along with Jimmy, and it's just team basketball all together, and we love to see it. And that's it's just goosies. That's all I can say. Well, well said. What else needs goosies. to be said? Uh, Patrick, what's going on, buddy? What's up? Let's go eat. I just want to say, Tobin Nostradamus, you know, top hat wearer, Thank teller you, of future. Yep. Leroy, we don't eat our own. But as a Miami Heat fan, we do pull all receipts. You can't talk trash about us. And it's not about winning, sir. Even when we win, they still talk about us. Right. Come they, on now. They just don't it, forget. You know what's you know what just you know what'd be nice, Leroy? What would be nice? A little bit of an attaboy from ESPN. This nonsense. They this have whole, you keep winning, they have no choice. No, actually, that's not true. Because they seem to keep winning more games, and the excuses get more bat bleep crazy. Yeah. Leroy, have you ever heard of something like this? Have you ever? Can you play him again? Let's hear this dumb dumb again. Which, by the way, hey, go Len. Thanks a lot. Too. Thank, can you open the? Can JF, Can you open the door real quick? I just want. I just want. I just want to. Hey, go Len. Thanks a lot for Mike Greenberg. You discovered a quack. <laughs> play Mike Greenberg again, Vlad. <laughs> particularly from Jalen, was how hard it is to go down to Miami and play this time of year. And I know people will immediately associate that with the nightlife and all that. But according to Jalen, there's more than that. There's also just the reality of the temperature change, the heat, the geography, being down there for three days. It sort of saps a little bit of your energy and your strength. We talk about that primarily in football. I know this is an indoor sport. But, I mean, the Knicks, whatever it is, Jimmy Butler is just as – Shouldn't that just, just stop you in your tracks? It's, it's stupid. Like, so wait. So <laughs> I that, will say this. The thing that – people don't realize about the heat and they overlook is if you play for the heat, you're going to be in tip top shape. Oh yeah. And, and they never stop. You never see anybody tired. Cause they so hungry to play this, this Gabe Vincent, like him, Gabe Ray, he is how you play a whole game guarding a guy full court. It's crazy. But how come that excuse wasn't used for Boston last year? Sense. How come that excuse wasn't used for Philadelphia? How come that excuse was never used when the Heat were playing against the Pacers or the Spurs? Club. That is the most ridiculous statement that was ever made. It making you look bad. It making you look. It bled. makes the Knicks. Yes, and we're not even saying that. Real Knicks fans know. Like, look, no, we get our ass beat. Plain simple. We're down three one. But to come up with humidity, this ain't football. This ain't the Jets versus the Dolphins. That's stupid. Absolute stupidness. I can't co-sign this, Tobin. I'm sorry, I can't co-sign it. It's okay, buddy. I know it's not your fault. It's Galen's fault. You discovered my green bird. <laughs> yeah, so he's getting hit by strays. <laughs> he's like, I'll be I was just sitting. I was just sitting at my desk, minding my you own know business. No, I know. And I got happened. hit by a stray. Aaron Rodgers. That's what happened. Jet fans or Knicks fans, right? We're, we're ridiculous. So the Jet fandom right now has warped his mind, and he's saying Maybe. stupidity. Maybe that's got to be it. That's got to be it. Aaron Rodgers mentioned his name. He doesn't know how to act now. I just he doesn't feel know like how to I think. feel like Jalen Rose, like dumb, just, like he just come up with it, and and Greeny's just like, oh, that's good. I'm gonna use that. I don't know and what J- Jalen was thinking. Jalen's, was Jalen's like, oh man, I just I, oh, I wanted that to kind of just die on the vine, and it just it won't go away. 